For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Wars Camping and Leisure with me, Mike. Today I'm giving you a review on basically the different ways that you can actually fix a driveway awning onto your vehicle, whether it be a motorhome, whether it be a T5, T4, Bongo, whatever you may have. Um, we're looking at really how a driveway fix, a driveway will fix onto your, um, your little luxury, your holiday as such. So uh, there are three main ways. Um, the first and most common way is to attach it on via a rail, whether this be a sort of wind out awning or sort of a generic C rail. Um, either or, if your vehicle hasn't actually got one, it's not a problem. Uh, buying a normal C rail, uh, we sell it in the shop here for about, uh, it's about 12 foot in length uh, for the best part of 16, 17 quid. So um, you can fix that onto your vehicle, no problem at all. That is by far the best and strongest way to fit them on to your vehicle. If you don't necessarily want to drill anything into your vehicle, you can look at using um, almost straps to throw over the top of the vehicle, guide it down the other side and that sort of just pulls the uh, awning tight to the roof. Alternatively, if you've got a almost like a gutter, you can basically buy a pole and clamp kit, thread the pole through the awning, clamp into the gutter. Now, all awnings pretty much on the market that are drive away come with those sort of three options that you can use it with. Some, uh, like the one behind me here, which is the Van Gogh Keeler, one of the um, probably best-selling driveway awnings on the market, um, has the ability, it's got Velcro tabs stitched in. So if you've got like a, a roof bars, you can actually Velcro it around the roof bars more than happily. Uh, the way I've actually fixed it onto our higher motorhome here is we actually just put it into the uh, Fiamma awning rail. Whether it's a Fiamma Omnistore, um, Protex, whatever wind-out awning you've got, uh, they usually have a channel which you can thread a driveway fixing kit into. So a driveway fixing kit consists of um, two main parts. Uh, one which is a plastic figure of eight clip and the second is a fillet strip. So it's a basically a cadre. So you know the beading you find on your driveway awning or any awning for that matter? It's almost like a double sided version of one of those. There are two different types you can go for. There's a uh, six mil to six mil, which is meant for normal sort of C rails or a six mil to four mil, which is meant for driveways. So that's what I've used here. So the principle of it is there's a little rail underside your driveway or wind out awning. So you wind that out, you thread it, sort of the fixing kit through, then the figure of eight clip through onto your awning and you're good to go. So um, what I'll do is I'll wind the one we got out here and just show you guys how it's easy it is to detach the awning itself. So, now I've um, loaded us down to a more reasonable height. Um, first thing you can see is the awning can pretty much slide on and off there. If I take out the, what is called the figure of eight clip, so on this one there is actually three of them, you can sort of see that. So it's a plastic, plastic thing like this. Um, it's basically got a, almost like a joint, sort of a sliding part down both sides. And it's just designed as all of your connection piece to and from the fillet strip, which is that double-sided cable I was all about and the awning itself. The awning actually has um, a stitched in six mil cater. Um, so that just feeds into there. And then you choose whether you want uh, a six to six or six to four, depending on uh, what you want it to. It can be a bit complicated. So at any point you do uh, wonder what is best for yourself, do contact us and we can always give you a hand. So what I'm gonna do now is actually detach the awning, uh, the driveway awning from uh, the motorhome I've got here uh, without moving the motorhome all the driveway awning. So again, all I do is taking these three panels out. So one's off. There's the second one gone. And there's the third. So now the my driveway awning is completely detached away from. So if I was going to go down to the shops or anything, um, this will pretty much nearly freestand. If you are going to leave this and drive away, what I suggest with any sort of um, driveway awning is there's a pegging point underneath the vehicle. Pull that out, 
and the actual this attachment which is the sheerly the sort of canopy which allows you to go from the awning to your motorhome you can actually roll back and then they have toggle points here the reason you really do this is mainly just so um, when you drive away you haven't got excess material dangling down or flapping because if you get sort of wind and it's sort of really sort of blowing a gale this is most likely to rip so you can neatly you can tidy it away you've got them all the way along so you've got another one here another one on top so you can really make it nice and tidy uh, most of the so driveway awnings again have additional uh, guide ropes or storm straps to give it tension so this one's got a little storm strap here and that basically just tensions and pulls it out here so it allows it to be freestanding without that any wind from this direction is just going to push and buckle it across so yeah, again use those when you leave the vehicle its way before you drive away what i would strongly recommend doing is actually um, use some pegs of some sort and just earmark where the each side of the wheel is so when you come back to you know you know exactly where to park here again so pop a peg either side of the front and back wheel so you've got a perfect almost like um, template where to drive yourself back up there's nothing worse than sort of finding yourself a foot or two foot too far away from the awning itself so um, yeah again a really nice little tip to just to bear in mind so what I would now do is just basically easily again reattach the part itself. I mean, in fact, I'll show you first. This part here is the fillet strip. So it comes in different lengths. Normally packs come in sort of four meters or three meters. Majority of driveway awnings need just needs three meters because the attachment's usually just 2.5 meters. So there you go. You've got different, so that's a four meter building and then a six meter building. Like I say, you can get a six to six just purely for the sea rail so like i say you've got feel on the awning six to four is all you really need so that combined with the fixing kit so all it does is that slides on there nice and simply and then you're good to go. So all I'll do now is feed that into my Fiamma awning. Oh, one fell off, there we go. So, once that's in the awning itself, I can more than happily get the awning as such and just put that into the figure of eight. It's usually a little bit tricky when there's a join between the three, so that's no problem. That slides onto there. Pull it across a little bit. The more and more you do it, in fairness, the easier and easier it becomes. Obviously with, with two people, it does make it a lot easier. So pull that across into the next part. There we go. Then we're attached. I'll wind her back up. And there she is. So the joys as well is with dry waves, normally you find that there are um, three different fittings levels. So depending on the size of your vehicle, depends on what sort of dry way you can go for. So normally, um, say for like the Vango range of dry they do, 
they have um, a low standard and tall. The main body of the actual driveway awning, this part here, is exactly the same. What actually changes is the connection part. So for a low, it's actually designed for lower fitting vehicles. So anything from um, sort of 180 up to sort of 205. Then you find the standard, which actually goes sort of about 205 up to 235. And then the tall, which is the model I've got here, goes from uh, 235 up to sort of 285, 295. Yeah, again, um, different companies, different awnings have their own sort of variants uh, heights. So double check that before you buy it, because that's one thing that does make a difference. Now, when you do fit to the lower end of the sort of adjustment, so for example, if you've got a tall like I have here, and you'll say 250 or 245, which actually the motorhomes are here, you've got adjustment straps on the side to make sure the sides look nice and tight. Yep. So you can see these just here. So if I stretch it out, that's designed to so go up to a taller. So this part here is actually elasticated and you've got a webbing strap to take the slack up. So really I can't enter this lovely side door um, by if I don't have this nice and tight. So a nice webbing strap on just on an adjuster, pulls that up, pulls that lovely and tight, means I can use this side door. You do get a little bit of slack. Um, that's going to happen regardless. The only way you not really get slack if you fit on the threshold, sort of the top end of the threshold. So if, um, for example, you were in uh, like a T5, the low in the sort of Van Gogh range is specifically designed for a T5 to make sure it looks perfect, nice and taut. Um, but yeah, that's a, a bit more of an insight. If you do, like I said, have any questions about sort of how to fix your motorhome or we do measure motorhomes, T5s and uh, do an extensive range um, in terms of displaying in the shop, uh, do feel free to contact us, so at was here. Um, our number is 01452 742 233. Alternatively, you can always, um, messages on Facebook, usually the messages come straight to view to my phone, so I'm pretty quick at um, giving you guys a response. But um, in essence, that's a bit more of an insight into uh, fixing a driveway awning onto your vehicle.